Hey guys, welcome to part four of this series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube with me, Mr. E. So by now, you have the first layer complete. Good for you. We have our green layer, our green side, our green face, if you will, complete. We have the reds matching with the red face. We have the whites matching with the white face. We have the oranges matching with the orange face. And we have the yellows matching with the yellow face. So that means that we are going to do the second layer next. So this second video is completing your second layer, which means not only will this entire ring be done, but now you will have this layer done as well. So you'll have two thirds of the cube done after this video. So what you're gonna do, uh, once you complete video three, and you're onto this video, your first layer is done, we're onto the second layer, that means we need to fix this cube, this cube, this cube, and this cube. So we have four pieces to fix. Some of them might coincidentally be done already and perfect, but more likely than not, not it's not gonna be done. So what you're gonna do, so for the entire, up until this video, our green face was our up face. But now, once you complete the first layer, and this entire first layer is done, like we did, you are going to turn the cube upside down. So your green face is now going to be your down face. And you're gonna work like this for this entire video. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your up face. So remember, green is on the bottom, and my up face is now blue. Even though it's not complete at all, yours might look different, but I'm gonna use the blue as the up face. I'm gonna look at one of the four center pieces that make the blue cross, even though it's not done, I'm gonna look at those cubes. And I'm gonna look for one of those cubes that does not have blue in it. So I look at this cube, it has blue in it. Not good, I don't want that, so I'm gonna turn. I look at this cube, it has blue in it. Not good. I look at this cube, there is no blue. It's orange and white. So this is the one I wanna work with first. What you're gonna do, holding your cube like this, is you're gonna move your up layer until you match this center color to whatever face it needs to be on. So right now, I have orange right here, but it's my white face, so that's not gonna work. So if I turn it like this, orange with red, not good. Orange with yellow, nope. This is how I wanna hold it, because orange is now matching up with the orange face. So I'm holding it like this, so my orange is my front face, my blue is my up face, and remember green is always the down face. This top color is gonna tell you which way to go. There are two algorithms for this video that you need to know. One algorithm is to take this cube and move it to the right over here, and one algorithm is to take this cube and move it to the left over here. So it depends on this color. So I lined up my oranges, and my white is telling me to move to the right because there is my white face. If I moved it to the left, that wouldn't make any sense because that's my yellow face. It's an orange and white cube, so it belongs right here because orange and white. So I am gonna use the algorithm that takes this cube and moves it to the right. And that algorithm is up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And wouldn't you know, there it is, right where it belongs, between orange and white, and nothing else was messed up. You repeat that four times until your entire cube is done. So now I'm gonna look again for a center cube that does not have blue in it. This one has blue. This cube has blue. This cube does not. So I need to match it with the orange face. So if I turn it to the right, there is where it is. So it's matched up orange, and the color up top is gonna tell me to go left or right. So it's yellow, so I look to my right, that's the white one I just did. I look to my left, that is the left face. So I'm gonna take this cube and use my left algorithm to put it right here where it belongs. So I hold it like this, orange is now my front, blue is still my up, and green is still my down. The algorithm to go to the left is similar, but kinda like the opposite. You're gonna go up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, 
top inverted, front inverted. And look at that. There is my cube, exactly where it belongs. I didn't mess up the cube that I already did, and I didn't mess up any of my first layer, and I didn't mess up the green. So I got two more cubes to fix. This one, and this one. So I look for a center cube, that the blue face, that doesn't have blue in it. This one has blue, this one has blue, this one has blue, this one does not. So I lined up my red, it's already lined up, and I look at the top, it's yellow, and that's going to tell me to go right, because my yellow face is on the right. So I hold it like this, with red as my front, blue as my up, green as my down, and I'm going to use the right algorithm, because I need to send it right here. So I go up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And, oh, there it is, perfectly where it belongs. While not messing up this one, while not messing up this one. So I have one guy left that needs some fixing. Not this cube, because it has blue in it. Not this one, because it has blue in it. Not this one, because it has blue in it. Here's the cube I need to fix. I need to match it up with the white because that is the color right here. So I turn it to the right once, and now it's matched up with white. I look up top, and I see red, and that's telling me to use the right algorithm again because red is on my right. If this color was orange, I would use the left, but it's not. So I'm going right. So white is my front face, blue is my up face, green is my down face. I'm going to the right. This cube is going right here. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And look at that. We have two layers of the white, two layers of the red, two layers of the yellow, two layers of the orange, and my green is still perfect. Now, there is a chance that sometimes when you're looking for one of these cubes that doesn't have blue in it, they all have blue in it. So let me see if I can make that happen um, really quick. Let me see. Here we go. So sometimes you're in a scenario where you're like this. You have your first layer done. As you can see, first layer is done. And I'm trying to fix those second layers, those cubes in the second layer. So you look. This cube has blue in it. This cube has blue in it. This cube has blue in it. And this cube has blue in it. So you're kind of out of luck. There's nothing there. So you might be asking yourself, what do I do? Well, here's what you do. It's because this cube, the one you need, and this cube are already in the second layer, but they're just in reverse spots. This cube belongs over here, and this cube belongs over here. So if you're ever in a scenario where all these cubes have blue in it, all you have to do is pretend that this cube belongs here. So I'm going to pretend that this belongs right here, because when I do that, it's going to take this cube and put it up here. Then I can put it where it needs to go. So I'm going to hold it like this, because I'm going to pretend this goes here, and I'm going to use to my right algorithm. So I do up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Now this cube clearly does not belong here, but look what it did. It brought that cube out. So now I can take this cube and put it where it belongs. And then I'll bring the other cube out. So it's okay if they all have blue in it. Just pretend it goes somewhere, and it'll bring the cube that you need up to the up layer. And then you can go from there. So let's mix it up one more time, really quick, just to give you some extra practice. Okay, we got a scrambled cube. Hopefully you have a scrambled cube too. Go ahead and solve that cross for green. Here's my green cross, matching sides. Get those corners in.
All right, so you have a solved side, you have the first layer done. So now we're going to turn it upside down, so green is on the bottom, and we're looking for a cube that does not have blue in it. This one does, this one does, this one does, and this one does not. So I'm going to do this one first. I got to line it up with white. So I turn the up face until I line it up. I look at the top. Orange is telling me not to go right because that's red. It's telling me to go left. So I do up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. And there it is right there. Perfect. Look again. This one has blue, this one has blue, this one has blue, and this one has blue. So that's okay. So this cube needs to come out. So I'm going to pretend that this cube belongs here. So I'm going to hold it like this and use my right algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Clearly it doesn't belong there, but it brought, where is it? There it is. It brought this cube out. So now I line this up with yellow, which it is. I look at the top. It's red. It's telling me to go left because here's my red. So I hold it like this. I use my left algorithm of up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. And there it is, perfect right there. I look around, I see this cube doesn't have blue in it. It's lined up with white already, so that's great. I look at the top, it's red, so it's telling me to go to the right, so it belongs right here. So I hold it like this, and I use my right algorithm, up, right. Up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And there it is, right there. And I got my second layer done. So, practice that. Once you are a master of the second layer, I will see you in video 5 of starting to finish that third layer. See you there, guys. Goodbye.